Welcome to Sonderman Pumps and Filter Technology. Sonderman has completely revised the series of magnetically coupled centrifugal pumps in recent years. Today we would like to explain to you what advantages of the new Maxon series you can enjoy. We go into the various connection options, the available materials, the modular system, the energy efficiency and the reduction of repair costs in the event of damage. The pumps are supplied with a threaded connection as standard. The threaded connection has an O-ring recess, so that a connection with an insert and union nut is possible. However, if you want a flange connection, this is also possible. You simply remove the thread adapter, which is screwed onto the pump and also neatly sealed with an inner O-ring. Then switch to the flange adapter, which in turn is designed as a loose flange, so that every angular position of your counter flange fits. A perfect solution. We offer polypropylene as a material for the pump or, as shown here, ETFE. ETFE has the advantage that it is universally resistant to almost all chemicals. You can therefore pump both acids and alkalis with an ETFE pump, which is not possible with PVDF, which is used by many other manufacturers. I will show you now another advantage in terms of materials here. In the case of pumps made of all plastic, which are usually manufactured by injection molding, the injection molding is reinforced with glass fiber so that the pressure bearing parts are sufficiently stable even at higher temperatures. As here, for example, the containment shell. In the case of the magnet casing, however, the best possible diffusion tightness is important. That is why we have injected the magnet casing made of polypropylene without glass fiber, in order to protect the inner magnet as best as possible. The impeller is in turn sprayed with fiberglass to ensure high mechanical stability. This means that a maxon made of PP can be used for acid concentrations, where other versions have to be changed to the considerably more expensive PVDF or ETFE material. Now I will show you how easily you can dismantle the Maxon pumps. After losing the eight connection screws, you can pull off the entire pump head. As you can see, all you have to do is take apart three components. This is the containment shell, the impeller magnet unit, and the front housing. This makes maintenance and repair very easy. Incidentally, we made sure to unstandardize the individual parts as much as possible. For example, there is only one centering shaft for all pumps from 370 watts to 5.5 kilowatt drive power. There is also only one bearing version from 370 watts to 5.5 kilowatts. And the geometry of the containment shell, and thus the inner magnet, and the motor lantern is identical for all pumps from 370 watts to 5.5 kilowatts. This helps you to significantly reduce the effort for stocking spare parts and saves you money. Let's come to energy efficiency. If we look at the pump housing, we can see that the inner shape follows a spiral. When the pump impeller now rotates in the housing, you can see that the liquid is given more and more space in the direction of the pressure port and less liquid simply rotates in a circle. This increases energy efficiency and reduces power requirements and energy costs. A significant advantage for you in terms of operation costs. Speaking of costs, over 30 years of experience with magnetically coupled centrifugal pumps has shown that most pump damage and repairs are caused by insufficient lubrication, either because the pumps run dry or with a gas fluid mixture, or because they are completely filled with liquid, but the pumps run hot, in example, run against a closed valve. 
What happens with hot and dry runs? Well, the sliding bearing depends on the fact that there is always sufficient fluid for cooling and lubrication. If this fluid is no longer available, the bearing runs hot. What does that mean? If the centering shaft gets hot, the seat of the centering shaft in the pump housing would also melt. In this case, the entire pump housing would have to be scrapped. Not in case of Maxon. At Maxon, the shaft mount is designed as a single part, which can be exchanged individually, so you only have to replace this part in the event of damage, not the entire pump housing. The same principle applies to the bearings. If the bearing overheats, the bearing seat in which the bearing is pressed in would normally be melted. At Maxon, we injected a protective sleeve around the bearing. If this bearing overheats, the seat inside the protective sleeve will melt, but the bearing seat in the high-quality impeller magnet unit will remain undamaged and you can replace the bearing without any problems. In this way, in the event of insufficient lubrication, the repair costs decrease. Would you like to find out more? Visit us at www.sondermann-pumpen.de or in our online shop at www.sondermann-shop.de.